Hello, Jamai plays here again and enjoying my addiction that is Mechabellum. Um, this is something that I have not done in a while, recording a video live while streaming. But I don't think I have many people in my stream now, and I really enjoyed this match that I just played. Um, I went with the what was what I bought? supply specialist, which gives me 50 additional supplies per round. And he went with the quick supply specialist, which gives him 200 supplies first round, which is like just quickly giving him supplies, which means he can field more units. He had a crap ton of Mustangs and crawlers ready to crawl upon me. But I had steel balls and arc lights, which were very arc lights are very good against swarms. So I was feeling like, yeah, I could do this. But he went, uh, what was this thing called again? Mass recruitment, which allows him to um, recruit that extra unit. And he got extra marksman. I think this is the first match in Mechabellum that I've played that I have not used marksman. <laughs> Um, if you've seen a couple of the videos I've uploaded already to YouTube, you'll know that I really enjoy Marksman, but I realize that I have to let go a little bit on how I use them because they either work very well or they are terrible. Um, there's no in-between. <laughs> but I found that units like um, Crawlers, are quite useful as well and i'm usually not a type of player that goes with swarms but anyway i'm chatting and i'm ram ram ranting in this first round my arc lights are aiming up for their crawlers while my steel balls i put them at the back to kind of roll past the crawlers once they've been dealt with to get to these marksmen and he has a bunch of Mustangs on the right, which kind of gave me a little grief. But guess what I did? I got his tower with said crawlers and steel balls, which weakened him. Kept my own steel balls on the right alive. And even though he had 200 more supplies than me in the first round, I ended up winning. And I got 50 extra supplies for the second round and onwards. He went with storm callers and I decided to go with typhoons I think yeah typhoons because I was expecting him to pick up wasps actually and typhoons are good against swarms but also against um, aerial units so I was like uh, I don't want to kind of lock into anything one of my problems in my previous runs was that I'd lock into like very specialized armies and then I'd pay for it when they kind of countered me hard. I was like, let me go for a more quote-unquote balanced army this time. I didn't have any anti-air at this point, so I decided to go with Typhoons just in case he got wasps and would have obliterated my ground-based army. Um, yeah, he went with Stormcallers, uh, which are level 2. And that was actually a good call that kind of got me let me speed this up a bit got me for a little while before i learned how to counter it and i'm very proud of myself because the game before this one <laughs> you do not want to see how i had no idea how to counter the storm colors which are like heavy missile launch missile launchers from afar i decided to trade a missile into his swarm over there so my left side is kind of strong. I just kind of wanted my right side to stay alive a bit while my left side put in the work, um, which they've been doing nicely. And need to get to his storm colors before they obliterate my army, which they are doing right now. Again, I got the tower on the left, but his storm colors were unleashing on my typhoons. And this one was very close. I really thought my Typhoons would have had these storm colors, but in the end, we lost out. And this is when I started to think that, hmm, these storm colors might be a problem. Uh, he went with underground threat, which basically spawns crawlers um, between your butt cheeks. I also went with underground threat as well. 
interestingly he put his underground threat to the right side of the map i didn't even know you could do that i thought you could only place units out there so i learned something meanwhile i decided i'm gonna put my crawlers at the z back to kind of distract his faster moving units so that by the time he's killed my crawlers my crawlers and a shit ton of mustangs would be upon him so i got two mustangs this is one of the games where i didn't really go for any giant or large units uh are these large units yeah um yeah big units don't mean you win guys i learned that as well in this match so i trade again with his crawlers over there because i expect them to be annoying and then oh he decided to try to get me from behind he's got crawlers but this is where my typhoons are gonna come in clutch look at my typhoons destroy those bastards um again his army was delayed because he was messing around with my crawlers got his left side tower again and we're going we're a little bit stronger this time but he's got a level two marksman alive that's ripping through my ranks can i get his next tower if i get this tower i win but unfortunately i did not that's why i love mechabellum looks like i'm gonna win almost got his tower if i had gotten his tower i would have totally won but it was not to be I was like, God damn it, those artillery storm caller bastards. Let me get a little air in while he went with um, the ability quick teleport, which basically lets his units spawn in faster than mine on the flanks. I decided to not use my overlord summon aggressively just to kind of have it arrive late to kind of wipe out anything that he has left and also stay away from these marksmen which would destroy my uh what's it called it overlord i think um yeah quickly so i was like you know what let's let's put it at the back again i'm trading with his crawlers here upgraded a couple units and got more mustangs he did not attack me at the flank this time and he got a shit ton more marksmen which i don't think was a good strategy because um i've got mustangs and you know what i did to my mustangs i decided to get them missile interceptor to deal with these storm callers and they worked like a charm you didn't really see it much in this match but i'm gonna slow down the next one so you can see how just one little upgrade on a unit can make the difference and i didn't even know this the last match um he went with fangs and what did i go with fangs as well yes so i i think decided to try to plant my flank my flanks my fangs on his flank to see if i could like catch him off guard catch him off guard but he also put his fangs there which i don't really care to be honest i just wanted my fangs to keep his units busy um so that my army of mustangs could fly in um which is exactly what happened you'll see so i put my fangs at the front and i put fangs at one of his flanks i thought i put them at both but that's fine and then upgraded one of my steel balls again trading with his crawlers and i got missile interceptor let me slow this down leo missile interceptors is the shit like this unit all my my mustangs are just like protecting if it wasn't for my missile interception all these units would have been destroyed by these stupid storm callers but look at my freaking mustang shoot most of those missiles out of the sky while my units can work on them look 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 look, look. like so many of these missiles have been shot down and because his storm callers have pretty much been i don't know countered i get the left tower again finish off his storm callers over here, storm callers over here I've got Mustang still alive. He's trying to get me. I've also got a missile interceptor thingy here as well. 
But man, look at these Mustangs go. Shooting missiles out the sky. Shooting missiles out the sky. Oh my god. Okay, today is the day that I fell in love with Mustangs. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It wasn't enough because I didn't get this chunky boy out of commission. But I saw enough of um, my tactics work with the Mustangs to be like, you know what? I don't think I'm scared of your storm callers anymore, bruv. You know what would make my storm callers better? More range. But he also chose to get more range because he's using storm callers. So his artillery got more range, but my counter for his said artillery also got more range. And I still haven't unlocked any new units. Um, so as you can see, I went for more Mustangs. And I think this is also where I unlocked range enhancement for said Mustangs. So I got the range enhancement from the ability advanced targeting system and then i also got a range enhancement which is a range which increases my range by 40. that is freaking insane which means one i can shoot his units from farther and two i can shoot down his missiles from farther and yes i know that the more missiles i shoot down is the less effective i become at shooting down missiles but um, these artillery, storm caller, rocket launcher thingies were becoming a problem. Um, still, this is just fodder. I just wanted to distract his units. I'm not really worried about his crawlers or his fangs. I'm worried about his army of marksmen and storm callers. And this is it. This is, I just threw up a random shield, I guess, because I had extra, um, stuff my missiles got his most of his crawlers here and look at my mustangs go shooting down the missiles shooting down the missiles protecting my typhoons as they come in shooting down more missiles like almost none of his missiles were getting through like look at them look at them he's trying to get me with these crawlers but again mustangs are strong against them so i'm shooting down his missiles from the sky and I'm also shooting his units that are attacking me. This is definitely OP. I got his left tower once again, but unlike last time, I had more Mustangs. And yes, some of his missiles were coming through, but now my army, which is basically fresh from the left, had more juice in them. And they were coming in, see, shooting down missiles. Some of them got through, but it's fine. Now my other Mustangs have teamed up and I've got some typhoon still alive i'm gonna get his tower this time he's still trying to get me with missiles shoot them out the sky and ggs all hail the mustang at this point i was feeling confident i was tempted to unlock a new weapon but then unlock a new unit but then i saw look at this advanced targeting system for a second time which increases range of all units by 10. Again, I was more interested in increasing the range of my Mustangs. And looky here. <laughs> I bought more Mustangs. Let's speed it up a bit. He went with Wasps, which I expected him to do earlier. And he put his um, crawler thing right behind enemy lines here. I don't think I used my crawler thing this round, did I? Okay, that's something that I maybe should have paid attention to. But he went for wasps. Again, I'm trading my missile with his crawlers over here. I'm not too worried about his um, crawlers coming through because I've got a shit ton of mustangs in all areas of my thingy. Yo, Levy, I'm almost done recording a video. This is the final battle. The final round where my units called Mustangs just freaking oh let me slow it down dude look at my Mustangs go look at my Mustangs go I'm slowing it down to 0 
No missile, at least. Very few missiles are coming through. Like, look, 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 look. Oh, let me zoom it in. Oh my god. And then, more of my units are coming in. I've obliterated most of his missile threat. I'm getting shots on his bigger units as well. And then here comes my balls. My steel balls are gonna rip through this guy. Oh, steel balls are also so OP. Come on, come on, get the missiles, protect my steel balls. My steel balls died, but they did just enough damage for my second set of steel balls to come through. And boom! Here goes the big boy. On this side, it's just a freaking army of Mustangs. I've got steel balls still alive, destroying his tower. Oh, his tower goes down. None of his missile artillery can get to me. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Mustangs. With missile interceptor and range enhancement, Mustangs are so freaking versatile. I, I have a newfound respect for Mustangs, ladies and gentlemen. A newfound respect. Oh, you're still in the past? Oh, no. And just like that. GG's. Thank you for watching. This has been Jamai Plays, enjoying Mechabellum. Um, yeah. Um, check me out on Twitch at Jamai Plays. Uh, subscribe, like, come follow me over at Twitch. I stream a lot. Thank you for watching.